too little too late with the National Guard and police continuing their patrols underground. The Subway Workers Union says it's still not enough. We'll start there at 4 o'clock. I'm David Usher. I'm Natalie Pascarella. The Transit Workers Union said that employees are still worried they could be attacked or worse. News for Erica Byfield live at Brooklyn Borough Hall with a fiery back and forth between the union's leader and law enforcement. Erica. Yeah, David, quite a bit happened today. We did hear this from the union president. He says his central concern is safety, not just for his members, but the writing public. Everyone has a responsibility to protect us all. An impassioned TWU Local 100 president explaining this ad, showing Manhattan's DA and the head of the MTA as the stars of the movie Dumb and Dumber. Richard Davis believes that DA Alvin Bragg is too soft on crime and Jano Lieber is ignoring critical transit issues of Lieber, he said. What he's doing to our transit workers is very clownish. All of this is happening as leaders just like commuters. As a commuter, do you feel safe? 100 percent no. I'm being honest with you. Say more must be done underground and on buses to keep people safe. Year to date, transit crime is up 13% citywide, but in Manhattan alone, it's down 2.8%. That's something that Bragg's team mentioned today, along with we are making charging decisions based on the facts and evidence, and anyone who jeopardizes the safety of passengers or transit workers is held accountable. At Tuesday's gathering, Davis said he wasn't quite sure of that. That's not enough for our members, that's not even enough for our life. Davis brought up some recent decisions, like the one where a subway agent got attacked and the person arrested and charged now faces two years, and another where a bus driver got stabbed. That alleged attacker could get five years. The courtroom is like a revolving door. They come right back out in the street. All of this is occurring in tandem with the governor rolling out a five-point plan to make commuting safe. It includes deploying hundreds of National Guard members and state police to back up the NYPD and do bag checks. Davis thanked her, but he said he thinks more must be done. He wants to see more MTA police involved, and he thinks that ranking union members need to have regular action-focused safety meetings with Lieber. Today, Lieber told us. All my life I've been told I don't look good in orange because I'm a redhead, and, but I thought that the outfit they put in me was, was slenderizing. So that's all I'm going to say about the TW's comments. My, my view is the NYPD is doing a hell of a job in the subway system. And we need to work. The governor's brought additional resources. The NYPD has the MTA's full confidence, and that's what I'm going to say, and that's what we're going to keep doing. One of the last things that Davis told us today is that he wants the MTA, Lieber in particular, to commit to meet with his agency more regularly. Erica Byfield, News 4, New York.